What are you doing there? Oh, I'm uh, mixing some uh, paint, uh, and I'm gonna put it on my figurine that I just got. Keep it short. Um, so. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Yeah, he's mine. Well, well you're doing that. Mine Wait, are you gonna airbrush over him? What are you doing, like fluorescent? What? I'm gonna be running the Candido six week. Uh, I know I said that I was gonna do the Wendler, the six week Wendler program, but I've decided to go uh, by suggestion of some of my close friends, I'm going to go with the Candido six week program. And today is squat day. So for the next six weeks, I'm going to be doing the Candido six week strength program. I had programmed a Wendler 531, but after talking with some of my friends, people I'm working with, this seemed like it was perfect. Now week one is muscular conditioning, so it's basically like a smash and grab, you know, we're sh normally programs are 12 weeks and this is condensed into six weeks. And I did not realize what week one entailed. So I'm doing four sets of 495 pounds, six reps each. And that is like, I don't know, twice the volume I would ever do. So this is the most volume I've done in like three years. I can't remember a day I did higher volume at this kind of weight, but, Hey, you know, 495 pounds, that's not a horrible amount of weight. I can kind of grind that out, right? No big deal. Uh, except I didn't see that I also have to do two sets of deadlifts at uh, 510 pounds for six reps each. Well, that's a crazy amount of volume. That is absolutely way more. So, I, I don't know. Here's the thing. I'm kind of a dummy. And when you put a program in front of me and I agree to do it, I have this, like, I just got to do it. I can't, the whole time I'm thinking, oh, there's no way I'm going to do four sets of squats. I'll do three. And then after the third one, I sat there for six minutes and I'm like, ah, just fucking do it. So I did it, I ground it out and I felt really good about myself. But then I'm thinking, ah, I guess I should do the deadlifts too. I'll just do one set. And I ground one set out and then I'm thinking, I'm done. There's no way I'll make an excuse up. I'll say my back was hurting. You know, I'm almost 50. They, they all understand. And it, it just this voice started nagging at me. Just do the last set, you pussy. Ugh, so I did it. Here's the beauty of it. You feel so accomplished. I don't know. There's just something about when you get that last set done and you're sitting there and you actually did the whole program. There's this little sense of accomplishment. It's, I, don't, it, it, I feel so at peace. Uh, and this is why I rely on people to program because left to my own devices I will way overdo things and I'll usually start backsliding and injuring myself so I like to work with others because uh, they help kind of keep me in the lane you know they keep me on a program they keep me at sensible I had originally had my numbers set too high and Rockman said you sure you want to do that and I'm looking at him I'm like yeah man it's, that's what I can deadlift I said I could do it and then by the time I got around to the sets, I'm thinking, I should probably lower those a little. Hmm. See, if I didn't have him, my dumb ass wouldn't have probably got through the first one. Man, this is what I love. I don't know how to describe it. When I'm working out in the middle of it, I'm thinking, oh, I hate this. This is terrible. I got to do how many more sets of this crap? And I feel almost like obligated to do it. But then when I'm done, I just, I feel powerful i just feel great i can't wait to go again i just love it i don't know how to i just there's nothing to compare it to now what's crazy about these deadlifts is i'm doing touch and go but if you note i'm barely touching the ground or i'm trying to touch it as little as possible i don't want that bounce i do not want the bounce assistance and it, it makes it exponentially more difficult because it keeps constant tension on the lift. So it's it almost turns the entire set into one giant rep. That's here's the thing, I gotta reprogram my brain though, because that's not always that's not always the way to go. These are so hard on you that it takes forever to recover from them. But you got a lot of mileage out of it. If you're ever stuck at a plateau and you just you can't get past it, start doing touch and go AMRAPs. Do a few weeks of them. I bet you'll blast right through that, whatever that sticking point is. <laughs> Almost blacked out there for a second. Whew. That was a come to Jesus moment.
I mean, this is ugly because people don't like doing high risk. Oh, man. A lot of sex. This is ugly because now you have to do the web. Oh. Exceedingly high rep. It's just the ultimate and it's like the same thing. You're getting it. You me, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be my walker. Okay. need my walker. We don't have any Beatles fans because I wore this shirt to my daughter's birthday party and not one person can see the Yellow Submarine. It's like Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Come on, guys. Ah, I know I'm getting old. This was the most grueling workout I have done in as, as long as I can remember. And I am cashed. I love it. I just love that feeling. This is the feeling I miss. Just being like thoroughly thrashed and you just feel like you know you got it in. Man, the, so it's Candido six week um, strength program and it's free. You can go to his website, Johnny Candido. He's a competitive power lifter, much like me, but he competes in the IPF and he, I believe he was a silver medalist at their worlds. Oh, fellow silver medalist here, hey. Uh, he's he's a, he's a really good lifter. He's definitely top of his weight class. I would and I would definitely recommend it, uh, especially if you're newer to the sport and you want a simple, straightforward program to dig into. Definitely check this out. It's a nice, nifty little Excel spreadsheet that you can download and you just program your lifts in and go. Um, I just wanted to say the video I made yesterday about the bench press, you know, where I called that dude out, challenged. Um, I. I I want to say I'm sorry to him because he's going off the deep rails and he's making video after video and he's trying to prove him. I see I can do it. Look, I keep my, I'm like, bro, I, I don't care. Like, you don't need to prove anything to me. I was messing with you and I, you know, you called me out. I ribbed you back. Like, let's just squash it, bro. Because you're, like, obviously getting a little, like, woohoo. You know, you're going off the deep end. And I just, it's not that big a deal to me. Like, you can hit the sea arm. I'll prove it to you. I'm stronger. Like, I, okay. Cool, man. Cookies. I got some in the house. I'll, you can have all of them. Like, great. Still, just relax, bro. <laughs> I think <laughs> the poor guy's going to have an aneurysm. <laughs> and it's my fault. I thought we were playing around. Dude, what happened to men? Men used to be able to give each other crap, you know? You make fun of me, I make fun of you. And, ah, and be, like, uh, men these days are women. They really are. It's like, they get deeply hurt. And they go on these, like, re like revenge things. And you're like, they're, they're, like, literally stress themselves out trying to, like, get you back. And this guy's, like, been thinking about me nonstop ever since I made that video. And I woke up this morning and I went online. I was like, whoa. Woo, like I'm concerned for you, brother. Like really it's okay. Like I'm nobody. You know who cares what I think? You know? So hey, take it for what it's worth. Let's just like let's just get back to you do your thing, I do mine, and we're cool, all right? I love you guys. Subscribe, get like, do all that stuff. See you on the battlefield.